and welcome. My name is Tiffany and this is our small town life. Today I'm going to do a mobile home tour for you and show you around our home. I'm Tiffany. I'm married to Justin and we live here on our one acre homestead with our five children. We've been here a little over a year and I've done a couple of house tours. One right when I moved the home in and I thought it would be nice to do another one let you see how things are a year later. This is very real. We live here while my home is tidy. Try to keep it tidied up. We live here, so there's probably some dishes in the sink. There's definitely laundry in the laundry baskets, but I wanna show you around and show you what it really looks like to live in a double wide mobile home. There are some things that we're still working on. We just recently put our front porch on. We prioritized y'all. When we moved here, this was completely raw land, no, septic no water no electricity no porches no i mean it was completely grown over we have more grass now than we once did and so there's been a lot to do and we've had to prioritize that and we're getting things done we rarely use this front door and so we put off putting that porch on we started working on that we did our back porch first which i'm going to show you in just a minute so if you love real life content and you want to see what it looks like to live in a small town, you want to watch us grow here on our one acre homestead and be part of our family, we'd love to have you subscribe and join us. So this is our home. Let's just scoot on out here so you can see a little bit better. This is our home. It is a Hamilton Burlington four bedroom, two bath, double wide mobile home. We chose to go with the gray siding and the wide white trim around the windows and it has a metal roof we put the gutters on or had someone put the gutters on after we moved in more grass than we once had the whole front yard was torn up to put in the septic system justin's been working on our front porch and then soon we're going to start working on a flower bed across the front thinking i want to put thinking I want to put some uh, roses around the porch. All right, let's head around to the back and then we'll go inside. This is our back porch area. We planted wildflowers here this year and we worked on this walkway this year and it goes up to our back porch. That's where we spend most of the time and that was the porch that we worked on first. The laundry room door is also right here and that's where we go in most of the time because we park in the back. There's always projects going on around here. Look at these babies. We're finishing up their chicken tractor and our garden right off the porch. More chickens. Y'all, look at all the chickens. Somebody left the feed shed open. Kids will have to come out and, and uh, close that for me. Now, I just came in the laundry room door, which is where we usually come in, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna take you to the front door and we'll start there. So here's the front door. So we're gonna pretend we just came in the front door. There's a nice big window here on this wall. Let me flip you around and show you what you see. This area is nice and big and open and it is our living room kitchen and dining room all right here in one open space and i'm actually somebody that likes rooms to have their own designated space with walls that separate them that's just what i like however especially for this season of life with younger children having this space open where the kids can be playing here in the living room you'll see there's there's kids stuff all over this living room I could be in the kitchen working, doing dishes or working on dinner or whatever, and I can see the kids right here, the little kids. So it works out really well and I like it. This is the living room. This home also has a den and I'll show it to you in just a minute. I've got all the kids toys over here on this wall and some baskets for right now. I do have my exercise bike in here. It's just a good spot for it. We put a couch in here and a coffee table and then over on this wall is the piano. Let's walk across to the kitchen. And y'all stay tuned because yes, we're gonna talk about the things that I love about our home, but we're also at the end of the video gonna talk about some things that have not gone so well. 
we've been going through school books and so that basket sitting there is full of some school things that we have to get rid of but i said that to say this island right here is amazing and there's three bar stools there but you can see there could easily be four the dining space is plenty big enough for us to fit a good size table and the plan is to maybe even get something a little bit bigger that fits our family a little bit better. That's the doors right there that come off the back porch. The island has plug-ins, outlets on each end, which is very handy. And the sink and the dishwasher are in the island, which I really like because when the kids are over here playing, I can see them while I'm standing here at the island prepping for dinner or doing dishes or whatever I might be doing. And another reason why I wanted to do this video and walk you through the house is because I have some things that over the next few months I want to work on and... I thought I'd point some of those out as we were going through and then yeah we'll take you along as we're doing these things but behind the stove over here I have got to put some kind of backsplash or something so that when I'm cooking things aren't always splashing up on the wall so I haven't decided how much of that wall I'm going to tile or put something on originally I was going to tile the whole wall but I haven't I don't know I haven't decided for sure but that's something that's gonna be happening very soon so let me know your suggestions on what I could do as a backsplash behind the stove so much counter space y'all we've even got our eggs in the incubator over there the master bedroom is off of the living room we'll save that for last so let's head down the hallway this right here is just past the kitchen this room to the right is Audrey's room and she is in here helping me with baby Flint. She's feeding him a bottle. And this is the pantry. This is right across the hallway from the room I just showed you and the first room to the left right off the kitchen. A whole walk-in pantry, y'all. I could cut the hallway light on that would help I recently put these pictures of the kids here on the wall and I love that I had wanted to do that since we moved in and I got it done this is the laundry room and that's the door that we usually come in a nice big laundry room if you have the opportunity to get a utility sink get the utility sink that was something when we first were looking at homes that I thought, I don't know that I really need that. And some people told me, you will want it. You will want the utility sink. And I'm so glad that I listened. So if, you, if you're debating, let me be the person to tell you, get the utility sink. The end of the hallway is the den. We did the built-in bookshelves and the fireplace and love it back here. The kids do too. <laughs> lots, lots of kid things back here. And to the right are the boys' rooms and the kids' bathroom. This is one bedroom. This is the bedroom across from it. And the closets are right here on the wall. These bedrooms are pretty much exactly the same. They're just across the hall from each other. I think this one may be a smidge smaller than the other, but you can't, you can't really tell. These walls were something that we thought we would change out, but y'all, I like these walls. I do. They're in the kids' bedrooms and bathroom, bathrooms and the laundry room. Uh, I'm seeing something stuck to the wall up there. Hmm, I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, but they're easy to wipe down. Just a rag that's very, very lightly damp. You can wipe stuff off these walls. So easy. And if you got kids, you know how important that can be. 
This is the bathroom that is right in between those two rooms. And it's the kids' bathroom. They all use this one. It's a great size for them. What are you doing? Are you a dinosaur? How did you get up there? Let's not turn the light on and off, okay? Let me help you down. You're on top of the bookcase. Alright, let's leave it alone. Come on. Before we head into the master bedroom, I thought that I would point out that the walls in the kitchen, the den, the living room, down the hallway, the master bedroom, they are all sheetrock. And y'all, we moved in, I was real optimistic. Yeah, give me the light colored walls, especially down the hallway, it'll look so big and open. Y'all, I got five kids, what was I thinking? They stay so dirty. And my kids are careful and they pay attention to those kinds of things. I touch them and get them dirty. I do love the color. What was I thinking? I would probably do it again the same way. Who am I kidding? I do like it, but they get dirty. I just walked in to the master bedroom and we are currently using this space for so many things. It is our bedroom and we have tons of furniture in here because we just had a lot of bedroom furniture. But both of the little boys are in this room with us right now. So Wyatt's crib is in here and Fletcher's bassinet is in here. You can see even, even with all the things, we still have enough room. Little boy needed his mama. But I did want to point out that our bedroom is another one of the areas that I want to do some work in. I've been so focused on just making it practical that I've not worried about making it beautiful. And while I do love my room, I love our bedroom. Uh, it makes me feel comfortable and happy to be in here. I just think it has so much more potential. And so it's one of those areas that I want to put a little time and effort into. And the master bathroom, y'all. This may be... I don't want to say my favorite spot because my bedroom, my kitchen, you know, I love it. I guess I would say that about every area of the home if I could, but I do love this bathroom. Why is there a little one in the shower? <laughs> what are you doing? We did do the tile shower. <laughs> has a separate tub, a double sink over here on the vanity, and right around the corner from the shower is the door to our closet, and y'all, it goes the whole length of the bathroom. It's a huge walk-in closet. I'm not gonna open the closets in this video. I did show them in some of the other house tours that I did and they'll be linked down in the description box so that you can check them out. We love our home and feel like it was the right decision for our family to purchase this home. There have been some things and some issues that have come up. I don't know if you noticed, but when we were in the den, we actually have an extension cord run to the TV right now because all the outlets in the den are not working. And this has been an ongoing issue that we've had to battle. Uh, we've also had some issues with the windows. Some of the windows are hard to push up and some of them you push up and they fall right back down. And they've not wanted to work on them because they're going to have to take the windows out to fix them. So there have been some things. There have been some things. And it's been tough. And I would be lying if I didn't say that it was frustrating. If I said it's been easy, it's been wonderful. But y'all, we are happy with our decision to be in this home and to be where we're at right now. Thank y'all for being here and for being with us today. If you're not already subscribed, we would love to have you stick around and be part of our family. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.